Okay, now we are going to start practicing. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and show you the, a digital online way of shading these things. All right, so um, if you are doing this at home with the sheet, if you actually have the sheet, then I think for all of the shading um, and for the technique I'm going to show you, I would say just use a, um, you know, you, just, you need a pencil and a, um, and a ruler be the, the things that work or some kind of straight edge all right and so the reason we shade these things is we shade them because this thing starts to to come alive a little more once we color it and then it's easier to see that oh like the the depth and everything of it and it's it starts to pop off the page a little when you start to color it and so i'm going to kind of show you uh, some ways how to do that so if you are doing this digitally all right and you're using cami what i'm going to do and now granted i'm just using the trackpad here i'm not using like any fancy technology or anything like that so um i i'm trying to do this so that you can model this yourself on a uh, you know do this on a chromebook or something like that so what you will have to do is load this up into cami um and that's that's fairly straightforward everybody should have access to cami on their chromebooks i believe it's one of the extensions you have um usually you can find the extensions kind of up here um, in your um, in your browser and if you don't have cami added you just go to extensions and then just kind of look for it and then sometimes you gotta go to the google store but you should be able to add it um, for your school account and then once you have cami what you'll do is you'll just load it by you'll uh, you'll click on cami like this right and then you'll um here let me make sure this is showing up yeah, it is good. Um, so you click on Cami like that, and then you'll just go to Google Drive. Make sure you've you've uploaded the file to your Google Drive from the assignment, and then just go to your Google Drive, and then um, you'll pick it, you'll select it, and then it will load it right into Cami for you. So um, so for us right now, um, what we're gonna do, and so when we're gonna shade this, um, the first thing is the top section does not get shaded. The top section is just left plain, all right? Left plain, plain white, or just plain, just uncolored. We don't do anything to it, we're gonna leave it. And so next, we're gonna go to the front section and we're gonna color the front section by making it like striped, okay? And so what you do is you go to the shape tool, all right? And that's right here below the drawing tool. Go to the shape tool, you click on it, and you get this bar here. I'm gonna go up here to stroke thickness, and um, I'm gonna put it on a thin one so it doesn't look really, um, you know, you see like when you do it, it, it looks, it looks kind of light, and that's kind of what you want. And you'll see that in a moment when we do that, how that's kind of what we're after. Um, if you do something you don't like, you can just grab the eraser and wherever the plus is, you click on it and it kind of makes it go away. All right, and so I'm back on the line tool here. I'm gonna take this and what you do is just kind of go up to the top. The middle of the crosshairs is where you start your line. You go like this and you just kind of click on it. You pull it down and you can sort of line it up and get it more or less lined up and then just kind of let go. And then just put in a, put in a few of them. That annoying toolbar thing has a tendency to show up quite a bit during this, and I haven't quite figured out how to make that go away. But that's all right. So I'm going to do this, and you'll see this is, you know, it's definitely faster to do this <laughs> on paper. So no shame if you decide, hey, I'm going to do this on paper if you have the option. But if you don't have the option. This is what you can do. And I'm sure you can do a much better job of this than I can. And that's fine with me if you if you can. Um, good for you because this is not how I want to do things most of the time, right? I'm not, this isn't my, uh, this isn't my bag, if you know what I mean. All right, but I'll keep doing this. So I'm just going to kind of hammer through this here. You can actually go back to all of these and straighten them with the pointer tool if you wanted to, if it were important enough to you, but you don't have to, all right. And so I'll finish going through this one. And then the next thing I'm gonna do after I do this is I'm going to transfer this same shading technique 
over to the 3D drawing, so over to the isometric drawing, where I'm going to put this just on the faces that match the front here, All right? So this is my front side, right? And so I'm gonna go over here, anywhere I see the front, where, and I just, for the purpose of this assignment, I marked it for you, and I just marked it F. And so anything you see that's marked F, waiting for that thing to move, that's annoying, right? Um, just kind of go up here. You can go away, thanks. Um, and just keep putting it down. So we'll do this one right here. Just keep throwing them in. Yeah, like I said, I haven't figured out how to make that go away. All right, we'll go up here. We'll do this one. This, this very front one here. And uh, yeah, so a little tedious, but um, you know, that's, that's how it works. All right, so we're gonna, I'm just gonna finish this one here and then it looks like I got one more I gotta do, right? I, fortunately for the front view on this one with doing it this way, you don't have to do that other one because you don't see it on this drawing. It just, it doesn't show up because it's hidden. But you can already see as you're doing this, how the, um, how basically kind of the depth of the shape becomes more pronounced now, even just from doing that, right? You can see that, oh, all right, those are, those are the fronts. Okay, and now when you do this, when you do the side, we're gonna, we're gonna do that as a traditional shading one. And I, I like using gray. So you go to more colors, here, if you slide down all the way here and you go to your neutrals, you just pick a gray. So I'll just, I'll pick this one right here. And then it loads it right up. Um, and then what you're gonna wanna do is use the color, right, the drawing tool. Oh, there it is, it's already loaded on. And you're gonna wanna use um, something that's a, a little on the thicker side, right? Otherwise you're gonna be like doing this forever. That's kind of what that one looks like. So I think I'm gonna go slightly, um, I'm gonna go slightly thicker than that. Let's try four and see what that looks like. Yeah, I, I think I think we could even go go bigger. Try six. Yeah, let's use six. Six will be good. All right. And so now what we'll do is we'll take this and wherever we see the S, right? We're gonna take this and just I think it's I. To do this exactly how I would do anything else where I just try to kind of do the outline of it and I'm sure I'm going to absolutely destroy this and make this look terrible and you guys can do a much better job of it but that's uh that's why you are the I generation and I am not so I'll go up here we'll bring it over Right, and so I'm anything marked S is what I'm filling in here, okay? And um, hopefully you can start to see as I'm doing this that, hey, this is starting to, to take some shape here and I'm starting, to, I'm starting to see that, oh, this thing does have some depth to it, right? You wanna try and leave the lines as much as possible just because I think the lines are important for seeing it, right? I'm like I said, I'm not I'm not the greatest at this. I'm not claiming to be, right? So this side, so you can already kind of see this, and then if we get this last little bit right here, I can. So, like I said, I'm not the greatest at this, but I'm giving it a try here. All right, and so I think we'll we'll call this. I'm gonna see if I can get that last little bit. All right, and so now you can kind of you can kind of see this, right? If you shade it like this, um, and I'm sure if you do it and you do a you know better job of it than me, you'll probably be able to you know. And if you erase it, unfortunately, I think a lot of times it erases like the whole thing, like that. So that's not you know the best thing. Maybe I'll use a slightly smaller one for this one. But the whole, the whole idea is to make this thing kind of stand out, make the shape of it stand out to you so that it, um, 
so that you see it, so that you, you, you clearly see like the contour of it and what, what's the side so you can almost hold it in your hand and you'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. And so that's what, oops, that's what the, the whole purpose of shading this is. And then you would shade this one as well. So uh, I'll start that to show you, but you would take this and you would just start shading this. And then the one, the one last thing, oops, going over the lines here. Boy, oh boy, Mr. Simons is an epic fail here. You guys get the idea, right? Obviously, this is much easier with pencil. Um, one thing I did not explain was these boxes here. Now, what these boxes here are is these boxes reference kind of the same corner, um, the drawing from the different views. So from the top view, we're referencing this corner, which would be right here. So if you think of it going down from the front view, it's referencing that front right corner. So same. And then they're referencing it. It's not the left on the side view. So hopefully you see that and you go, oh, all right, that makes sense. Because basically all these views are if you take the top and then you spin it kind of forward, then you see the front. And then if you turn it to the left, then you see that it's the side. It's just like one movement goes from this to this to this to give you all three of those views. Right. And that's where this comes into place. It kind of shows you where that is in all three of them. All right. So that's how uh, that's how we're going to color these moving forward. Um, and then I will um, the the next one here video I put together will be um, for you to use. And I'll show you another tool you can do so that if you do decide to do it on this, you can do that. OK, so um, hopefully this was helpful to you. And, uh, and have some fun with this, all right?